Good afternoon YouTube and welcome to the Langendale Hotel here in Beijing. So this is where I'm going to be staying for the next uh, five days. Uh, I decided to give this hotel uh, a bit of a whirl because it actually looks really nice. Uh, it's a bit more traditional type uh, than the most modern ones that you get. Um, you've got the Regent just here next door and then you've got all the other hotels uh, just around the corner. But uh, I'll show you inside and show you my suite uh, that I've got. This is a really, what I would class as an oldie worldy type hotel. It's really old fashioned, uh, but it's just beautifully decorated. It goes all the way to the top. So on the ground floor you've got, like, just straight ahead, you've got a cafe and then a reception and check-in is there on your left hand side. The first desk you see, that's for uh, just for your storage, uh, if you're storing your luggage here. Uh, on the second floor there is the restaurant where you can have your breakfast. And on also the second floor is the gym and pool, which I'll show you later, the shop there. Now this is the second floor. Now it's really weird in China. Uh, in England, we have the first floor, but here they call it the second floor, which is really strange, but this way you can have uh, breakfast. I think they are preparing for, for lunch. There is an outside. Oh, it's a lot. Okay. So there's an outside area, but obviously I can't get outside there now. That's a long way down. So here's my suite, 1214. Let me give you a tour around the suite. So as you walk in, this is your entrance. So you've got some nice paintings on the wall here. And they've actually got an energy card already in there. So normally you have to put your room card in there and take it out when you leave. It saves energy, but I suppose it's they already provide you with that because it's really good to leave the air conditioning on because it's super hot. A uh, lovely big mirror. Nice little stool there, I guess, when you want to put your shoes on. Uh, you've got your, your mini bar and your coffee here. So you've got a, a kettle and a coffee maker. I've just made some coffee. So we're going to have a cup of coffee in a minute. And you've got water here. Put my card down. So these are all ones which are imported and they're going to be charged. So if you use them you'll get charged like 68 RMB so which is what a uh, seven pounds that's very expensive uh, these are free you can use those for free and your tea and coffee is obviously free um, this is oh, just for the uh, mini bar so you just take off what you uh, have eat, eaten or drank so you've got your alcohol beer soft drinks Wine glasses, you've got your coffee, tea, really not really coffee, uh, wine there, nuts, crisps. Now I, I was quite surprised when I did look at the room. So as you come in, so this is the living room, nice big living room. The power outlets are actually the UK style ones, which is great. Got some a knife and fork there. I suppose if you're going to have uh, dinner in your room, there's the entrance. The TV, the waste basket, plenty of places to sit. The view is not 
that spectacular. So you're looking out uh, just onto the main road. It's a real shame if that building wasn't there you'd probably have a better view of the city. So this is a very um, touristy area so you've got the Novotel over there and just next door you've got um, I think it was a Regent and through here is the bedroom. Lovely big bed. All of these hotels always have massive beds but um, considering it's a $400 a night room you'd expect this kind of bed. You're going to get a single bed. This is looking out to the side. So just there you've got Regent. And just on the side, if I can get a shot of it, uh, there's Aston Martin there. There's an Aston Martin showroom. So I might go in there and have a little look. That's a really nice chair. <laughs> Be sat there and have my coffee there, I think, because I need to elevate my foot. Uh, this is the wardrobe. So you've got bathrobe. Iron, ironing board, lock, slippers, extra duvet, or oh. I think they get just a blanket, not a duvet. Remote control for your TV. The TV in here. Oh yes, there's a TV in there. I didn't even notice that. The desk. I've literally just come in and put the uh, coffee on, so I haven't really had a, a proper look around. So, as you are seeing it, I'm seeing everything. And the bathroom <clears throat> is just across here. It's a lovely big bathroom. I'm definitely going to be taking a bath today. And then just there, you've got the shower. Nice big walk-in shower. And a toilet. You need a little cubicle. And then a his and hers uh, sink. And I'm guessing that side must be the males because you've got the, the shaving mirror there. And then you've got all of your uh, dental kit, shower cap, Vanity, shaving, comb, soap, uh, mouthwash, was, no, body lotion, cotton buds, that'll be a hairdryer. I'm quite glad they've got British PowerPoints because obviously all of my um, electrical goods are all electric, uh, British PowerPoint, so it's great. So I am here for the next five days and um, I'm glad I've picked this hotel because I needed somewhere just to chill out because my foot is really hurting. I fell over uh, a few days ago. Uh, so um, there's a gym and a pool which I'll probably go into the pool later on today. Uh, and on the 16th floor they have the restaurant uh, for breakfast, dinner and so on. And at five o'clock they have something called happy hour where uh, you can have drinks, snacks and so on and that's all included within the price but like I say again you're paying $400 a night uh, they should be supplying stuff like that um, I'll have a look what uh, the rest of the hotel looks like I'm gonna have my coffee first uh, and then I'll show you around in a few minutes so because uh, I've booked a suite uh, I have access to the lounge area on the 16th floor and uh, so after 5 p.m. you get to use this uh, lounge area and uh, there's books, magazines, you can just sit here and chill out, have a meeting if you had some people come over. Uh, you've got over here uh, computer and printers if you needed to do any work, surf the net. So it's good that you've got a uh, printer there because most places would charge you to print any documents. You've got newspapers over there. Uh, books here and then just across there we have uh, a food section now the food is it's just like snacks really more than anything else or afternoon tea I guess you could call it uh, so you've got finger sandwiches uh, creme brulee little um, cakes and you've got soft drinks up at the top here fruits, 
And then here you've got some pasta. Uh, you can mix it with some beef, uh, some salmon. And then here there is soup. And you can make this just sort of a soupy broth with some, I know it's like there's some mushrooms and stuff in there. <clears throat> but you can add in extra mushrooms, corn, uh, shrimp. I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like ginger to be honest. You've got your oils over there. And then if you're a drinker, you've got wine uh, and uh, Cointreau, Red Label. Campari, Bacardi, Baileys, oh Baileys, um, vodka, uh, you can make yourself uh, a cocktail. So it's uh, it's actually quite nice, it's quite peaceful. Instead of sat in your room, I mean my room's quite nice, it's got a little suite, uh, so you can sit there or come down here and, uh, and sit here as long as you want. Um, it's open till eight o'clock uh, and uh, just use the facilities, it's fantastic. I love these things, they're so nice to relax in. It's quite quite a big pool, considering uh, most host hotel pools are quite small. Sauna, steam room, and over here is the jacuzzi. There's one, two, there's another one on the left but there's a guy over there walking around butt naked so I don't really want to be filming that. Steam room actually looks like some sort of science fiction room doesn't it? You've got these um, little seats. I tell you what, this feels fantastic. This is the rest of this spa section and where I'm sat is the cool pool or the Ice pool, I guess you would call it. For a gym in China, it's a lot better than most. So you've got fall down, squat rack, cross trainer, treadmill, a few other weights, flies, shoulder press, and then you've got free weights which go up to, I don't know what that is, 50, 50 pounds, and well, that is in kilos, I work in kilos, but that's enough for a workout, you've got medicine balls and stuff, bikes, and not a bad gym. Hey, breakfast time, let's have a look now, uh, you saw my video a little bit earlier, this is where you come for uh, the afternoon tea. Oh, look at these donuts. Um, you've got some sweet cereals over here. Seeds. Ooh. So this is again the the private section for when you are in the suites. So uh, only the people who are in suites are allowed to use the 16th floor for. Uh, Breakfast. Let's see what we've got here. So, oh, that's congee. Plain congee. Sausage. Meatballs. Chips, eggs, Chinese dim sum. Honey. <laughs> How fresh is that? Okay, and then you have <clears throat> your soft drinks as before. <clears throat> so they'll make you eggs as you want, and uh, coffee on demand. All right, so I'm gonna grab a plate and have some breakfast. Breakfast is served. And these are some of the famous people that have stayed here. Uh, President of Republic of Burma. Mm. 
uh, President of Vietnam, Turkestan, Costa Rica, Rwanda, Prime Minister of Thailand, yeah, they've all stayed here. Foreign Minister of Kingdom of Bahrain. Indonesia, wow. So it looks like all of the top uh, international diplomats stay here. So there you go, if you wanna follow in their footsteps, you can uh, stay in uh, one of the rooms here.